Okay, here we go with another episode of College Coffee Talk. I am Andy Lockwood from Lockwood College Prep, enjoying a double espresso. It's that kind of morning. We're in the throes of college application season, so I'm getting all caffeinated. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice adult beverage too. So College Coffee Talk is all about questions that we get from, uh, from families of college-bound teens about getting into college, about paying for college, anything about the whole college process. And today, it's not really a question that I'm answering, but I just wanted to note a problem that I'm seeing a lot on college applications because I am reviewing stacks of them uh, each week, essays, applications, and in particular, whoa, earthquake. I just kicked the camera. It's not really an earthquake. In, in particular, I want to talk about the, um, the college application activities section that's on the, uh, on the Common App. And it's also, to a, to a lesser extent, it's also on the coalition application. So I think one of the biggest problems I see is that kids don't really understand that the purpose of listing the activities is a selling purpose. So instead, what happens is kids will just list like a bunch of sports and clubs that they're in and call it a day. Maybe they, they hit seven or eight of them. What you should do is think of this as a, the whole process of applying to college is a, really a, a marketing exercise. Because if you have the same grades and scores as thousands of other kids, the activities is, section is one opportunity that you have along with the essay, along with other stuff like interviews, to distinguish yourself from everyone else. So think about not only listing activities in order of most impressive to an outsider to, you know, to least impressive, but also think about making each description um, very powerful, as, or, or as powerful as it can. And virtually any description can be punched up. At least that's, that's what I'm spending my days and nights doing right now. So let me give you just a quick example. It's one thing to, you know, to work uh, as a cashier. I see that a lot. But it's another thing to be responsible for settling transactions um, worth anywhere from $800 to $2,000 per shift, being responsible for the orderliness and cleanliness of the workspace, uh, dealing with customer requests and occasional complaints, you know, that, that's really what, what the difference between something that's descriptive and shows that you are responsible and using words like responsibilities and duties versus I worked as a cash register. Uh, along the same lines, an another mistake is a lot of times people, kids will, in the description about what they did, they will actually talk about what the club does. So it could be, you know, key club is the is the uh, title of the activity and the description is key club is devoted to uh, you know uh, charitable this and that and the other thing that's not a description the description should be about you and your activity as a kid so that should be along the lines of as vice president of key club my duties and responsibilities included uh, promoting membership to the other kids in my high school uh, I had to you know whatever uh, I was responsible for organizing uh, a, a big walk or big you know running monthly meetings you know that type of thing so those are two mistakes I know I was only going to talk about one mistake but those are two and I hope you found this valuable someone's calling me right now so uh, maybe it's a client all right so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I will be back next week with college coffee talk and college talk Tuesday bye bye hello Hello? What's up? Yeah. What? That was awkward. <laughs> okay. I guess I butt dialed my daughter. All right. And now that concludes College Coffee Talk. For real. <laughs> That's funny.
just want to text me. All right. Bye.